What's up, 30 subscribers? I'm gonna keep doing that joke because it's not, well, I guess it's not really a joke, but my friends think it's funny, and that's all that matters, is what my friends think. Um, so today we're, uh, we're working on pretty much just kind of like cleaning and, you know, tidying things up, uh, specifically working on uh, getting those clean because that's that's bad it's just because the car's been sitting a little while and then uh, we're gonna repaint both of the calipers on both sides um, I did go to Skycraft this morning Skycraft has like all these little nifty stuff like this um, the kit that I purchased only had like two of them and I kind of needed three um, and then I also bought some other ones for when I'm doing like the return lines my dad's <laughs> he's extra um, <laughs> So I bought uh, I bought a couple of these and um, and then have extras or whatever, but they're really cool and you know it fastens it up against the uh, the firewall very nicely and keeps everything really neat. Um, and then there's a couple of grommets. Forgot to grab a grommet for that hole to plug that up, but I'll do that later. Um, not super important, uh, at least not as of right now. Um, that's all done. I pretty much showed that in the first video. Um, the engine bay is done, uh, cleaned. You know, it's the paint is where it's gonna be. It's not gonna get any better. We're just gonna leave it at that. So today we're just doing that and then cleaning the transmission because um, she's a little dirty. You know, a bunch of bunch of oil and stuff um, from like leftover. Because um, uh, I and it's mostly dirty and like oily because of the valve cover gasket leak that it or the valve cover like leaks that it had and it was like mostly just dumping down the back of the motor towards the transmission besides that i mean it's pretty it's pretty much fine so we'll be okay we'll be doing cleaning um might show like products and stuff that i'm like using but that's pretty much it uh do, do, do yeah yeah we'll just go from there Okay, not, you know, crazy professional job, but you know, it's it's nice. My dad always likes to paint stuff like this um, so that it looks good and doesn't rust. But uh, it's painted, you know, super basic, but at least it's like black and looks presentable. Um, and then I'm gonna throw the skinnies on in a second. It's VHT caliper paint, it's really good. Um, this thing is pretty like industrial and stuff, so um, it'll last pretty, pretty long time. I mean, this is kind of like what we throw on a lot of stuff. Where do we, where we get this like Jags ace and stuff? Get Je Okay, Jegs or Summit has it. Um, speed maybe like your local speed shops or whatever. If I can get it to focus a little. It's not focusing. There we go. Yeah, see like high temperatures. Yeah, no. Yeah, it does the job. Okay, so these are my uh, whole shot skinnies. Uh, the, the whole shots are on the rear. Uh, they're, ma of course, matching. Um, these are, uh, they're, they're legit skinnies. They're like, here, I'll show you. I think it's a uh, three inch, or, God, I can't remember. It's like a three or four inch wheel and like a five inch tire. It's something really tiny. Uh, but you know, it's for drag racing applications and stuff. Um, they stop pretty well. The tires are good. I don't really have any issues with it. The setup is kind of just like a little little spacer right here um, It's not very big, but it's enough just to clear the caliper because it was very very tight here Like there was no like you it, the wheel would not turn so my grandfather made one of these just like a through and through spacer You know nothing crazy um, It's like kind of annoying to get on but you know it's whatever um i'd rather have that than like some kind of adapter um this will piss off some of my friends putting the lug nuts on these are lug nuts from whole shot as well they're really they're really nice like i love these um but just to get the dirt out you know make sure there's no like you know dirt or anything in there for like oh. let's try that again Go on? No, no, but I have a blooper to do because I dropped it like a oh, dummy yeah. a little bit <laughs> Okay, so as my dad is um, Cleaning the uh, or cleaning mowing the lawn I'm gonna go ahead and like pull these fuel lines down and we're gonna put a braided line here 
Um, so basically, it's just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. They're like right here, somewhere. I'm feeling for them, right here. And then, uh, if you can see that, um, so pull out those. There's a bunch all the way down. It's got this little housing that holds on to it. Um, I don't know if we're gonna hold on to this housing. We, we may or may not. I don't even know if those uh, braid lines will fit in there. But I got a bunch of like wire tie stuff. I can show you. Uh, well, not wire tie, but it's like the, it's like those, those little things that hold that wire. God, I know what they're called, and I'm, I'm spacing right now. Um, yeah, this is a mess. Uh, they're somewhere around here. Uh, but basically, fasteners, fasteners. So basically, they're just like these, just a lot bigger, and then they're gonna hold these two braided line for the 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 uh for the fuel for fuel lines um for like the return and everything uh just it'll be both of them and then we'll link them together like this it'll look super nice and uniform uh and then we'll i'll show you when i'm done okay so drop the fuel tank it was pretty easy i skipped a bunch of steps uh, of me like working on it um that's all the fuel lines and stuff are kind of just on the ground uh, pulled all I think it was like 10 or 12 10 millimeter bolts uh, from under here uh, pulled those all off got all the way back to where the the rear end is and noticed that it was gonna be a little bit difficult to kind of pull stuff out. So what we did is we ended up just cutting some of the fuel lines because we're replacing the fuel line, so it doesn't matter. Um, these two have little pins that go in them. Just pulled those out, loosened up the bolts over here, if you can see right there. Uh, loosened those up to the edge so that you could just swing these out, put them on the ground, pull the fuel tank out. Um, had a jack under the fuel tank, which is like a little piece of wood so it wouldn't crush it pulled it out and then uh, once it got low enough then we just kind of like put it on the ground drug it out it's not gonna I mean it's gonna scratch it up a little bit it's not a big deal it's just a fuel tank um, now I'm gonna clean it up and then drain the fuel out so it'll be lighter to put back up in it okay so that's the pretty much the end of the video um, I didn't continue recording after that because I kind of got caught up in what I was doing but we ended up just draining the fuel tank um, and then tucking it back under the car. Um, wow, I need WD-40 on this chair. Um, uh, that was about it. Uh, I ended up doing some more stuff, but not related to the Supra. I ended up doing on the truck, which is another video, uh, which will be coming up shortly. I've been really busy with work, so I haven't been doing much of uh, editing, but I've been taking tons of videos. So... Hopefully I'll be able to post a video every um, every day or every other day after this one. Uh, but that's it. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, keep watching. Uh, I appreciate the ones who are watching. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Whoa, where's that? That doesn't make sense.